it's Wednesday. We are having an amazing flash sale for Sunsy and I have just been going nonstop all morning, but I wanted to take a moment to share what I've been using with Sensi. So I didn't do this last week because I was in Salt Lake City for Sensi family reunion um, in celebration. I'm wearing my 2017 shirt, which as you can see, shows my amazing son that I got at the pool. So uh, <laughs> there's that. Um, so I thought that I would pop in and share it on here because normally I just record these and put these on my YouTube, but it's an amazing day. So why not just share it with all of you now? So we got, we got some stuff to go through here, friends. Uh, first and foremost, let me say, I know I probably threw at least two others away <laughs> and I still have the car clips in my car, but after driving 16 hours one way and 16 hours back, your girl needed some scent in her car. And if you know me, I personally, I love a lot of our scents in the car. But my number one go-to and my husband's number one go-to in the car is, hands down, weathered leather. It just gives you that, like, new car smell. And I love it. I just love it. Yes, it was so fun to meet you too, Dwana. I'm so excited. It was such a good time. I had a blast. I'm not going to lie. It was well worth I mean, I don't want to say it was wor well worth the wait for three years, but it was worth it because I, I had an amazing time and I am already starting to count down the days. We're getting close to almost one year out from our next SFR that's going to be in Charlotte, North Carolina. I have never been to the East Coast, so I am stoked for that. And I'm already, I'm already making plans. Um, or am I cruising? Oh, okay. So let me, all right, before I dig into this, this thing here. Yes. So I earned the Alaskan cruise. Um, it leaves on Monday. We had the choice when it came to the cruise to either take the cruise or we could get SFR um, in place of the cruise or we could take a cash payout. This was months ago when the incentive ended. Um, and while the Alaskan cruise was on my bucket list and it was literally a dream come true to earn that, I had to turn it down. I knew it was a trip that I couldn't take without Justin, my husband, and he wouldn't be able to schedule his work around it. It was just, the timing just was not right for him, and I would have felt guilty AF if I had gone on that cruise without him. I'm not going to lie, but I'm living vicariously through my friends who are going, and they already know they're going to be um, taking pictures of all the whales. I, I need pictures of all the whales that you guys see, because right here for me uh <laughs> so <laughs> yeah so i'll be living vicariously i know it's been a little hard with the restrictions and getting on the cruise and stuff like that so um i'm just here supporting everybody going <laughs> um yeah yeah i know carrie's got me carrie's totally got me she's gonna take care of all of my whale pictures okay uh let's start with this because um hello like i i was in the car for a while um a long while like it took me two days to get back into my car when i got back i was just like no i don't want to get back in um so i used my sensi go if you're not familiar with our sensi goes they're absolutely amazing Yes, please. Oh, yes, you're going. And I could have been there with you. <gasps> Breaking my heart. Yes. Love you for all these pictures. Um, our Scentsy Go is a wireless, rechargeable scent system. Okay? So, here's how it works. It actually uses our Scentsy Pods. So, if you're familiar with, like, our wall fan diffusers, our mini diffusers, um, our character diffusers, all of the, the things that diffuse, um, our Scentsy Go works on the same concept. So, you add in your favorite scent in the pods. They're literally like these little silicone 
beads inside of there that release fragrance. Um, and then down in there is a fan. Um, and so you can pop in one to two. I always just do two in mine. I don't, I don't know why. Um, do they change color? Yes, they do. I think my battery is dead, but let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh no, my battery's not completely dead. Okay. So, um, it does go through the whole led rainbow. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, so I like that, especially like when I'm in the car. Um, so it has, a, there's two different since he goes, this is the one with the, with the light feature. There is one that is a little bit lower in price. Um, and it does not have a light. So that's the, just the difference between the two. So it really comes down to, do you want a light or do you not? Since I usually, usually am using mine in the car the majority of the time, I like it for aesthetic purposes. I know it's weird. Um, anyway, and then so then you've got that fan button there, so that turns it on. Oh yeah, is that cocoa lime? Is it, was that cocoa lime? Yes, cocoa lime. Ha ha ha. Yep, cocoa lime. It smells absolutely amazing. I love this scent. I'm just gonna keep it going here on my desk. But I have been using this um, for the last two weeks, so um, I'm actually surprised that I remembered to charge it. Not gonna lie, I did put all these stickers on on here um they it comes just regular i just i i you know i like to be creative um is it better than the mini fan i will say it's it is better for the than the mini fan if you have a larger space or if you want a stronger scent because the mini fan which is right here because it was also in my car um the minivan is great. However, it only holds one pod at a time. So even though the fan is still, the mechanism is still the same, right? You, you're only still able to only use one pod at a time. In here, you can use one to two pods. So you're going to get more scent if you add two pods. And then if you're using a stronger scent, then, you know, it's going to stretch even further. So that's really the main difference between that and the mini fan diffuser. Um, Yes, I take my go everywhere too, Amy. Yes. Um, oh my gosh, goodness, yes. Uh, a minivan and five kids. Yes, Cassandra. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, if this isn't yet doing the job, look for a stronger scent. Like cocoa lime is, I consider it a stronger scent. Um, but look for a stronger scent or switch over to the go. And you'll notice a big difference if you need it. So, mm-hmm. There you go. The more you know. Ba -ba. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's just dig in. I got a lot here, right? Because I've been changing my wax. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about club because hello, club is the place to be, right? Uh, club is where you get the discounts. You get exclusive perks like access to bricks. Um, you also get the feature of always get my bar, meaning if a scent comes out and is being discontinued, which y'all. This is the last month of our current catalog. We've got scents that are being discontinued. So if you love them and if you want to keep them, you either A, need to stock up this month because they're on sale, or B, you need to add it into a Scentsy Club. And you can create a club that runs every month, every other month, or every three months. It's in your hands. There's no commitment. There's no starter fee. There's no minimum. There's no maximum. There's no extra fees. Cancel it any time. But you get the perks when you're in the club. And so some of these are in my club, actually. Red is from our Chase Rainbows collection. Absolutely love it. If you love a good, strong, fruity scent, this one is for you. It's mainly, it's mainly strawberry, but I wanted to say there was a little something else in it and almost, I almost want to say like a little zestiness to it, but it's very, very nice and it's a good strong one, which I love. So club is the jam. Yes, Courtney. I agree. I agree. Megan. Yes. So excited about Charlotte. I know. Right. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Don't travel without the go. I'm telling you. All right. Another one that I really enjoy and this is from the bring back my bar that we had last month um summer rain you guys i love there's a scent called thunderstorm that i've had in my club for a long time i absolutely adore it i know it's not everybody's cup of tea but honestly to me it smells like the windows are open and there's like literally a, a like it's a spring rain outside 
I love that scent. It's just fresh and relaxing to me. Justin and I, we love rainy days. It's kind of our thing. And um, so it, it means a lot to me when I'm warming those scents. But this summer rain is pretty darn close to thunderstorm. So I love it. I actually get this in my club. Um, I think this one's in my every three month. This is my quarterly club because I don't warm this as often. Um, but it's still one that like, I'm like, I can't, I can't not have it. Right. And my super secret stash. Just saying. Roxy saving for North Carolina. Yes, girl. You better be there. I cannot wait to see you. All right. Enchanted Mist. Talk about another bring back my bar. Enchanted Mist. I'm not going to lie. This one was a huge seller for me when it was in the catalog years ago. I had so many customers that loved this scent. It would literally buy it by the six pack. I added it back into my club. It's one of those, it's just a little, it's more like a relaxing or a spa scent to me. And so it's nice and calming. I actually have it going. I actually just changed the wax. This is um, one of the ones that I changed it to. And in the main bathroom, which we've got a big vaulted ceiling in there. So I have a lot of, a lot of area to cover. Um, so I put this in there and as soon as you open the door, it's just, it feels like a spa. It's like a spa in my own house. Amazing. So that's another good one. Um, Crystal's going to be there too. Yes, girl. I cannot wait for next, next SMR. And everything that they're going to have for us. Because being in Charlotte, I know it's going to be a great time. Um, like I said, I've never been to that, that East Coast area. And I might be able to talk my husband into going with me. I don't know. He's not really, you know, he supports my business. And he loves, loves what I do. He loves that I'm happy at what I do. But he's not somebody who's like, oh, I'll go to the city thing with you. He's not necessarily <laughs> <laughs> he would rather stay at home and play his xbox and chill on the couch and watch some forged in fire and things like that so <laughs> uh, yes stacy i know stacy's gonna go there crystal oh yes we have to meet we have to meet all right another one i was just getting ready to smell without even telling you what it was uh pineapple coconut vanilla this one and i want to say correct me if i'm wrong my friends but i want to say this is a scent that originally came out and it was called number nine we had like this little collection for a while and like our body line that was like numbers and it confused all of us because none of us could remember the numbers now i can't get the darn number out of my head so there's that i, I mean go figure uh but this is pineapple coconut vanilla it is absolutely fantastic and all the things and it's just that i do get more vanilla and coconut out of it than i do like a tropical pineapple so again this is more on like the relaxing side of the spectrum <sighs> I think, yeah, that was one of the ones that I put in my warmers. So um, as I walk out, maybe I'm just in a relaxing mood today, y'all. It's a good day. Okay. Um, oh, Roxy. Heck yes, girl. Oh. 80s vibes today. Do I have 80s vibes today? Oh, my goodness. Yay. That makes me happy. I was like, ooh, what am I smelling? Zeppelin. Okay. This one's totally in my club. Zeppelin, if you know me, you know I love the manly scents and this has that musky, sandalwoody. Oh, it's amazing. It's just amazing. So, there's the Zeppelin that I, I will have for a mighty long time. Um, peachy and Palm Trees. This is one that came out for our summer collection. Yeah, our summer collection. And this is absolutely one of my favorites. You do get a lot of peach in that, which for me, I love peach. So does Justin, actually. He loves peach scents. And we don't really have a whole lot of scents that have peach. But heads up, if y'all have realized, it's uh, open voting for Bring Back My Bar. Just for a short time. Um, if you are a consultant, go to your website, get on there and vote. You can vote um, once a day or every 24 hours, I don't know, rolling time, whatever. Um, but once a day, you can vote for your five favorites to come back in the next Bring Back My Bar round. And one of those that I put on mine is Posey Peach.
because I love a peach scent. So this is the closest that I can get right now to that peach scent. So peachy and palm trees. I love it. Just love it. Yes. Cassandra kills me. The peach or the peach scents are just, they're refreshing and I love it. All right. Pink lemon water. This one was the scent of the month for, I say that in darn it, April. I don't know, but it is very lemony. It is, <laughs> if I could open it, it smells like pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. That's what I get. Pink lemonade. Mmm. I know, right? I keep, well, I only, I will say, yes, and making magnets out of them. Oh my gosh, Crystal. Have you? Okay, back in the day, before I really started doing a whole lot of YouTube videos, um, I had a blog. And one of the projects, if you get on Pinterest and you search Sensi Magnets, I guarantee you, you will find my blog post on there. Because that was one of like my first like big crafting projects that I did that went really well for me. So I would cut off the top of the clamshell and then I would take my scissors and just kind of go around the edges so there weren't any like, you know, sharp edges on it. Um, and then literally glue a magnet on the back. And then I would actually put my, uh, my label with my information on it and I would give them out in every order. Um, that I got. And so for me, it was like giving out a business card that also smelled good because you can smell it still from, even when you take it off of the clamshell itself, you can still smell it. Like those oils permeate into there. And yes, so that's, uh, I'm so glad that you brought that up. I may have to, I may have to bring back my magnets. I might have to do that. It has been some, uh, a number of years since I've done that project, but it was so fun. Um, Yes, at the club events. Oh my goodness. Yes. It smells more rosy to you. Yeah, I will say, yeah. It does almost like a little bit of floral in this, but it's like this one surprised me. I didn't think I would enjoy it, but I did. It I think it's just because it just kind of lightens up the house. It lightens it up. And especially on these hot summer days, like I want my house to be as light as possible. <laughs> All right, another bring back my bar. Do you notice a trend here? All right, another one that I did also add in was Simply Irresistible. Simply Irresistible. Speaking of aging myself today. It's another one that is on like the manly scope of the world. I mean, it's just, it's Simply Irresistible. Simply Irresistible. That's all there is to it. Oh, look, there's another one. So there's two. So, <laughs> do I like it? I don't know. Can you tell? Okay. <laughs> um, cucumber and cactus water. This was also in the summer collection. This was a sneaker sleeper scent for me. I didn't really think that I would like it. I loved it. Loved it in all the things in the pods. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Um... And the laundry, oh, okay. So you get that nice, like little bit of cucumber, but then you get just that freshness with it. So uh, freshly, fresh scents, it's kind of, it's kind of my thing. With a little bit of fruity and a little bit of manly thrown in. So if you ever wondered what Jackie's house smelled like, it smells like a fresh floral man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm ridiculous. <laughs> oh, oh, Cassandra, you watched that? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was a while ago. Ooh, tangerine creamsicle. I completely forgot that I warmed this last week. Oh, you get that tanginess from the tangerine, but you really get like the creams. How do they, how do they really make these scents smell like a creamsicle? Like, how do you come up with creamsicle? Like, I'm sure there's vanilla in there, but... It smells like a, a creamsicle, like an ice cream creamsicle bar. They're just amazing. Oh, um, another pineapple coconut vanilla. Some weeks, y'all, I just get in a mood and that's where I go. Uh, Forever Yours. This is another one from the Bring Back My Bar collection. 
This one's floral, but romantic floral. So, um, I want to say that I put this in the living room when I warmed it, but I also did, I know I put it in our bedroom, but when it was time for me to change the wax, that's when I remembered because I went in to change the wax and I was like, oh yeah, I love that one. All right. So there's all the bars. There's all the bars. I almost did it. Only one fell out. Okay. Um, the other thing that um, I went through was counter clean and squeeze the day. Can we all just have a moment of silence? Squeeze the day is discontinuing, my friends. If you have not discovered squeeze the day, you need to seize the moment and you need to get some squeeze the day. It smells like fresh squeeze lemons. And if you're talking about, like, I get it in the counter clean and in the clean line, like, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Citrus is my go-to. And especially when I, I like things to smell good, right? So I get it in the bathroom cleaner, I get it in the counter clean. Um, and because it's going away, I will be adding the bar to my Scentsy Club because... I need that citrus. I need that citrus. And I will also say that if you're somebody who mixes your scents, you know who you are. If you mix your scents, that's like taking one cube of, of this and one cube of that and maybe even a third cube and adding in a third one, right? And like you, you Frankenstein your own signature scent together. Okay, Squeeze the Day is another great scent that you can do that with. So you can, like, if something's a little too much for you, let's say it's the red and that's just, for you, it's just too fruity or it's too whatever, right? And you wanna tone it down. A really great tip is to add maybe a citrus scent or you can add in more of like a, um, I like to call it like a mellow scent, more of like a vanilla or something like that with that scent and it will tone down that strength of whatever it is. And I mean, like I said, a lot of times I've done that. Um, well, I've done it many, 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 many times over um, my years of being a consultant, but uh, sometimes I end up doing it and I accidentally find like this combination that I absolutely fall in love with. And then I stick with it for like a good six months. <laughs> so you never know. Um, oh, the dish soap too. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, it just, it smells amazing. It smells fantastic. And yeah, I'm going to be pouring one out for my squeeze the day when it goes away. So um, I'm definitely adjusting my club this week and next week. So, all right. Um, that is me going through what I used um, over the last few weeks, minus a couple of things that I just simply forgot to put in this little basket. But um Every week I do a rundown of what I've been using and warming in the house because I love my Scentsy. So uh, that's what I do. Um, so these are on my YouTube channel. So if you're ever curious, you wanna know what am I using, what do I like to use, then those are the videos for you. So um, just a quick rundown. Anyway, um, and if you didn't notice, there's a flash sale going on today. Um, my customers are absolutely loving the sale and it's because they're very smart people. There are some fantastic flipping deals out there, up to 70% off. Insane deals happening, but only for 24 hours and they're only while supplies last. So. Um, if you are not a consultant and wanting to give Sensi a try, hello, here's your sign to get onto my website and to grab some scents when you're getting them at the best deal. So why not try it when you don't have to pay retail? That's what I'm all about with my customers is helping you guys find ways to not pay retail for your Sensi. So, um, we can do that. We can set up, um, shopping links and different things and get you, Cincy, not at retail. So that's what I like to do is share all of that with you guys. Um, the flash sale is wonderful. I know, right? And so easy. Yes, I will say we've had some flash sales in the past where it's like you go to add something to your cart and it's disappearing. Like, oh my gosh, everything was going so quickly. 
I'm really, I'm really impressed with the smoothness of how it's all going. So I, so far I've only had one customer, Kristen, and she um, ended up having to go back in and change an order. And she did lose out on one thing. She, she unfortunately lost out on one thing that had already sold out when she went back in to change um, her order. But for the most part, everybody's been able to get what they were wanting to get, um, at least from my customer perspective. So um, y'all, it's still going on. Um, it will go on. It's a 24 hour sale. It started today at 10 a.m. Central Time. So it will go until tomorrow. So June, June, <laughs> it's no longer June, Jackie, July 7th at 10 a.m. Central Time. So you still have time to shop, but I would say don't drag your feet on this sale. Don't sleep on it. Don't drag your feet because these deals are amazing. So there it is. All right. Well, um, like I said, I normally do these on YouTube, but I thought today I'd pop on and just share it with y'all live since I was here. So, um, have a great rest of your week. It is officially hump day. We are counting down to Friday. At least we are in my house. So have a great rest of your week. If I don't talk to you before then and happy sensing. Bye.